Hello friends, my name is Pratik and welcome back to my channel. So guys, in today's video, we are going to see that if you have started using Google Pay application recently, then what are the features present in Google Pay application and what are the payment methods, how you can add a bank account and how you can add a debit card or credit card in the application and what are the options we get in Google Pay application. We are going to take a look at all the features. So if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and without wasting any time, let's start the video. So to get start with Google Pay application, you have to open the application first. So if you have kept any password or pattern, you have to enter that and you have to open the application completely. So once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface we will be able to see on your mobile screen. Now let's take a look at what are the options available on the home screen. So at the top, at the very top, you can see you get an option of payment method. So you have scan a uh, payment option. Uh, you can directly pay to contacts which are uh, already present in your phone and you can directly pay via phone number. You have an option of bank transfer. So you can enter bank details, IFSC code, bank account number in this option and you can transfer the money. Apart from that, you have an option of UPI ID. So you can enter the UPI ID and you can pay. Self transfer is for the people who want to uh, transfer their money from their one account to another account. For example, if you have multiple bank accounts, you can do that. Uh, you can also do recharge and bill payments with pay bills option. And as you can see, the last option is of mobile recharge. So these are the basic option in payment methods which we can get. And currently you can see at the very top, I'm getting an option of add bank account because if you are starting uh, application from the very start, then you have to add a bank account to do all your transaction. But we will take a look at the interface first. So complete with the payment method. If you scroll down, you will be able to see all your recent transaction. So if you are using Google Pay application for the first time, then there won't be any recent transaction as it is visible in my case because I have already using Google Pay application. Then the transaction I have been made with my friends and family members, all the contacts have been available here. So you can check out the recent transaction over here. Apart from that, if you scroll down, you will be able to see an option of recharge and bill payment. So in this one, if you have already paid a uh, electricity bill on Google Pay earlier, then you will be able to see it here. But if you want to check more details in recharge and bill payment, all you have to do is you have to click on see all option. Once you select see all, we are on the next page and on this page, you will be able to check out once again, if you have paid your electricity bill previously, then you will be able to check it. Now, if you scroll down, you get multiple options over here as mobile recharge, electricity, DTH and cable TV, fast tag recharge, Google pay, credit card bill and all. So you can check out all the options in this tab. So you can uh, mobile, uh, you can do your mobile recharge. You can do your, you can pay your electricity bill. If you're using DTH, then you can recharge it. You also uh, have an option of uh, recharge for fast tag, Google play services and all credit card bill payments. You can do it with Google pay application also. There is much more option over here, gas cylinder booking, broadband and landline, postpaid mobile. And also you will be able to see view all option is still there. So if you click on view all and if we check out, you can see there are more, much more options in there is one category included finance and tax under that you can see insurance, loan EMI payment, credit card bill payment, tax services. And if you scroll down in other section, you will be able to see subscription housing society, hospital, donation, clubs, etc. So these are the categories or these are the payment categories under recharge and bill payments. So once again, we are on the home screen right now. So done with the recharge and bill payment. Now, if you scroll down, this is the last option under promotions. You can check out your rewards. If you have any offers, you can check it under offers. Uh, in referrals, you can suggest Google Pay application to your friends who, who are not using it. And by referring them, you can earn some money in your bank account. And this is the new option Indie Home, which is just like a game. You have to share some details with your friends and then you can build your artificial home on Google Pay. Also, you can earn some money. Now, if you're already, if you have done any transaction previously in Google Pay, then you can check out your transaction on show transaction history. Now, if I click on that. Now you can see whichever transaction I have done in previous days, all the transactions are visible on this page. So you can check out the date, the time, 
of the transaction also the amount of the transaction now if once again we go back on home screen at the very end you you can see you get an option of view account balance but currently i have not linked any bank account so if i click on this i'll get an option of add bank account so once you add bank account i will show you how you can check out the balance so once again we are at the top now as you can see if you're using the application for the first time you will get an option of bank account so you have to add a bank account but there is another way by which you can add bank account simply you can select this option or you have to click on profile icon which is present at the right hand side top corner you have to select that once you select that we are on the next page on this page you can check out your name number you can check the rewards you have earned and under setup payment method you can see there is an option of bank account and debit card and credit card so if you want to add any card you have to select this debit card option uh, but if you want to add any bank account you have to select bank account option so th there are two ways so if i select the bank account option we are on the next page right now and here you can select your particular bank for example if i have an account in state bank of india i will select that bank if you have your account in axis bank hdfc bank you have to select that particular account so i'm going to add kotak bank so you do get an option of search banks at the top so if you want your particular bank either you can go with alphabetical numbers or you can directly click on search banks and you can type the bank name so as i'm i want to add kotak mahindra bank account so you can see i have typed kotak and it is showed me so i will select the bank once i select the bank it will start finding the bank account which is linked to my registered number so once it is done you can see also i have received a message from bank right now that the registration is complete now if you take a look at bank account now currently you can see one account is showing over here so if i open that now you can see kotak mahindra bank account is been showing here so if you have multiple bank accounts and if you want to add another secondary bank account the, you have to do the same thing you can go in profile and in profile you have to select bank accounts and in bank accounts you can select add bank account to add multiple bank accounts so if i want to add another bank account i will tap on add bank and once again i will search for the respective bank and once i got you have to just select the bank it will once again find your account uh, which is registered or which is linked to your registered number and it will detect the account automatically and the account is successfully added so now you can see at the start it was kotak mahindra bank now i have successfully added the secondary bank account so these are the simple steps in adding bank account now if you, if you want to check your account balance so for example if i want to check account balance of kotak mahindra bank i will select that particular bank and after selecting that we are on the next page and at the very bottom you can see you get an option of view account balance now if i tap on view account balance we are on the next page and here you can see it is asking me to enter six digit upi pin so you have to enter your upi pin to check your account balance so i will do that very quickly once you enter the pin all you have to do is you have to click on this tick mark sign over here and now after entering the pin successfully now you can check out your account balance here so same with the other bank accounts now if i want to check my account balance of indusind bank account i will select that bank i will click on view account balance and once again i have to follow the same process you have to enter six digit pin over here and you have to click on tick mark sign you, you then you can check your account balance so this was a simple step for adding bank account and checking account balance now if i want to uh, share much more details on this one for example uh, you were using google pay application earlier or any upi application earlier now if you want to change any pin for any particular bank account so if i select kotak bank account once again now if you don't remember your upi pin you can see you get an option of forgot upi pin over here and another case is if you remember your upi pin but still if you want to change your upi pin then you have to click on three dots over here and after clicking on three dots you get an option of change upi pin so if i select that so now you can see it is asking me to enter six digit old upi pin so the upi pin which is currently uh, activated or which is currently active if you remember that you have to enter that upi pin here and after entering i will show you i'll just quickly enter the upi pin after entering the upi pin you have to click on tick mark sign at the bottom and now you can see on the next page it is asking me to enter 
six digit new UPI pin. So you have to enter new pin over here and then same you have to do. You have to click on tick mark sign. Once again, you have to re-enter the UPI pin on the next page and then you can simply change your pin. So this step is for the people who remember their UPI pin but still they want to change it. Now the people, uh, for the people who don't remember their UPI pin, you have to follow forgot UPI pin option. You have to click on that and on the next page, it will ask you to enter your card details. So if I enter the card details, uh, I will show you very quickly. So after entering the card details, all you have to do is you have to click on this tick mark sign and you have to click on this blue arrow sign. So if you don't remember your UPI pin, you can simply set new UPI pin via your debit card or uh, debit card details. So now currently uh, I have to wait for the OTP. So it will send an OTP on the registered mobile number, which is linked to the bank account. And once you receive the OTP, you have to enter the OTP here and then you have to click on tick mark sign and then you get an option to set new UPI pin as we got previously in the change UPI pin option. So these are the steps by simply which you can change your UPI ID. Now, one more thing is there in bank account. Now, currently you can see Indusind Bank is my primary account. It is showing as my primary account. Now, if we look at Kotak Bank, it is only showing as a saving account, but it is not my primary account. So if I want to change my primary account, so if anyone uh, transfers money to my account, currently I will receive that amount in Indescent bank because it is my primary account. But if I want to change that, all I have to do is, for example, if I want to do uh, or if I want to keep Kotak Mahindra Bank as my primary account, I have to select that bank. And after selecting bank, you can see you get an option of set as primary account. So if I click on set as primary account, it will change my primary account to Kotak Bank. Now, currently, you can see earlier when it was showing Kotak as saving bank account only, now it is showing primary as well. Now, if I go back, now you can see earlier Indescent Bank was my primary account but primary has been removed from here and now Kotak Bank is my primary account. So if anyone transfers money uh, to me on Google Pay application, I will receive that in Kotak Mahindra Bank. So you can simply uh, change your primary account by this simple steps. Now talking about uh, basic details, uh, if you want to check your UPI ID, you can just select your bank account and you can check out your UPI ID. Now, if you want to check out your QR code for Kotak Mahindra Bank, then you do have an option of display QR code over here. Now, if I click on that, you will be able to see the QR code for Kotak Bank. So in your case, uh, whichever bank you are using, you will get this option. So these are the simple steps. Now, you do get an option of manage UPI numbers. Now, if you click on that, we are on the next page and if you want to add any another number or something, set your registered phone number as the UPI number or something, you can do this from manage UPI numbers option. So nothing much to explain in a bank account. Now, one more thing is now if you want to remove bank account, for example, as you can see, I have added two bank account over here. Now, if I want to remove Indescent Bank from the bank list, then all you have to do is you have to click on this three dots over here. And in that you get an option to remove your account. So if I click on that, it will ask me to uh, continue or cancel. If you want to, do, uh, if you don't want to remove, you can click on cancel. But if you want to remove, you can click on continue. So I'm not going to remove it right now. So these were the simple steps of adding bank account in uh, Google Pay application, how you can check your account balance and how you can add debit card. Now to add debit card, see, you have an option over here. So you have to just click on debit card. You have to click on proceed. Now on the next page, see on the next page, it is asking me to line up the frame. So either you can click picture of your debit card from here. Currently it is showing black because I have kept mobile on the table. So camera is uh, on the back side. So it, which is why it is showing black. But if you want to enter details manually, you do have an option of enter details manually. So you can click on that. You can enter your card details over here. So I will do that very quickly. After entering the card number, you have to enter the month and CVC of the card. Once all the details are entered properly, all you have to do is you have to scroll down and you have to click on save. 
So currently, as you can see, adding cart to your Google account. So on the next page, we have to accept the terms and condition. We have to go forward. So on the next page, you can see the bank want to verify whether it's me or it's someone adding my card to their account or something. So we have two options to verify. Either you can select a text message option. So a message will be sent to our registered number or else we can use the email ID option. So currently I'm going to go with text message and simply you have to click on continue and uh, it will send me an OTP. So I have selected yes autofill. So if I receive OTP, so now you can see it is automatically detected. Once this process is done, you have to click on submit. So now it is setting up my card. And once it is done, you are set to make payments. So now you can see under debit card or credit card. One card is showing. So I have added two bank account and one debit card option. The same way you can add credit card uh, if you want to. And if you want to add bank account, you know what you have to do. You have an option of add bank account. So these are the simple uh, basic options we get in terms of bank account, adding card, adding bank account, how to change primary account. And also I know or I hope you have got that uh, points very well. Now talking about the payment method at the start of the video, I told you that I will be explaining these things. So what are options we get? Uh, we get scan any QR option. So if I click on scan any QR, now you can see we will get an option of scan any QR. So if you want to do payment by scanning QR code, then you have to scan a QR code in this particular area. Currently it is black, but yeah, uh, once I pick the mobile, now you can see it is scanning. So it will look for the QR code. You can simply scan the QR code and then you get an option to enter amount and UPI pin and then the transaction will be successful. So this is for the people or uh, who those who want to do a QR code payment, you have to select option of scan any QR. Now, if I select pay contacts, so if I select that, whoever people are present on Google pay or something, I will get their number. I can select the contact and I can do the payment. So this is a simple step for this one. Now, once again, we have an option of pay phone number. So if we want to pay, or if you want to transfer money to any particular account which is not added in our contact list then you can simply select pay phone number option you can enter the number over here and you have to enter the amount on the next page and then you have to enter your upi pin and then your transaction will be successful so this is for the people for uh, those who want to transfer money to some another number which is not added in your contact list now let's take a look at bank transfer. So if anyone is willing to transfer money or want to transfer money through bank account details, you guys have to select bank transfer option. Now, if I select that, now see on the, we are on the next page on this page, you can check out account number, re-enter account number, IFSC code and recipient name. Once all the details are filled up, you have to click on continue. So I will do that very quickly and I will show you a transaction. So I have entered all the details and once the details are entered, you have to click on continue. So we are on the next page and on this page, as you can see, we have to enter the amount. If you want to add any message, you can do it. And you have once you are done, you have to click on this blue arrow sign. So this is the same step uh, which I showed you at the start for scanning and also if you're scanning QR code, then you, uh, you will be on this page. Now, if you are sending money to any of your contact, Again, you will get the same thing. You have to enter amount and then you can go on the next page. So steps are simple. Only the methods are different. If anyone wants to go with QR code, they can do with that. If anyone to want, uh, if anyone wants to do bank account transfer, then you have to follow this step. So I will enter the amount very quickly. For example, if I want to transfer thousand for test. Uh, now in message, I am going to type test only because we are doing this test transaction. Now, once it is done, you have to click on this tick mark sign at the bottom. As soon as you click on tick mark sign, it will ask you to uh, choose the account uh, from which you want to do payment. So as I have added two bank account, now it will show me two bank account. One is Kotak bank and another one is Indescent bank. 
so i want to keep kotak bank so i will select that and then you have an option of pay i have if you click on pay then it will take some time it will load and on the next page as you can see i have to enter upi pin and once the upi pin is entered transaction will be successful so i will show you this transaction i have entered the upi pin now simply i have to click on tick mark sign at the bottom and now the payment is in process it is taking some time uh, within few seconds now you can see the payment is done so these are the same steps so i have transferred 1000 rupees so i have got a message from bank as well so i will remove that first now if i want to uh, check out the current transaction which i have made of 1000 rupees i will go down i will scroll and in show transaction you can check out the history so if i click on that now you can see the current transaction is showing here so these are the simple steps guys uh, by which you can simply transfer the money through bank transfer now another way is if you want to do upi id transaction then you have to click upi id you have to select upi id you have to enter the upi id for example if you want to transfer money to your friend you have to enter his upi id over here and you have to simply click on continue and then again we will get the same step as we got in bank transfer you have to enter amount you have to enter upi pin and the transfer will be done now there is one more option in this one which is self transfer now if i click on self transfer now you can see as i have shown you uh, i have added two account which is kotak bank and indusind bank now if i want to transfer money from my kotak account to indusind account so on the top you get an option of select bank account to transfer from so on the on the, in this category you have to select the bank account from which you want the money to be transferred so i want my money to be debited from kotak account and i want my money to be transferred in indusind bank so in this category select bank account to transfer to you have to select the other bank so as you can see on the top kotak bank is given and at the bottom indusind bank so uh, my amount will be debited from kotak bank and it will be transferred to indusind bank account you can simply click on next and once again you can enter the amount you can add a note if you want and once it is done you can simply click on arrow mark and once again the same step you have to enter upi pin and the transfer will be done now in terms of paying bills you can click on pay bills option over here and if you want to recharge you can select recharge option if you want to pay electricity bill you can do that or if you want to recharge dth you can select that after selecting dth uh, it will ask you to select your provider so for example it is airtel digital you can select that if it is d2h you can do that if it is dish tv you can select that for example if i am selecting dish tv you have to link an account so you have a card number or number mentioned uh, below your set top box or something you have to enter that 11 digit number over here and you can simply link account and then you can recharge your dish tv each and so from the next time you don't have to add any account all you have to do is uh, if you are doing this step for the first time you have to link the account you have to enter the digit which are present on your setup box and then you can link your account and from the next time you can directly select dish tv and your account will be shown here and directly you can recharge it so there are much more option in google pay same goes with fast track recharge and credit card bill payments and all so you have multiple options in google pay by which you can pay your bills you get your credit card bills your electricity bills if you want to do recharge you can do that and all the transaction you can check out in transaction history so they, these are the simple steps that's pretty much it in uh, about today's video guys so these are the simple steps you just follow these steps guys and you can use google pay application easily so that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you like this video hit that like button if you have any question write down in comment section below and if you find this video informative share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this so i will see you all in the next one thank you